I realize I'm a little bit late to the party with this video, but regardless, I really wanted to make it. I wanted to talk about my style resolutions for 2023. 2022 for me was a pretty good year. I started it really confident with my style in the winter and fall. I feel like I really gotten to know myself and what I like, but this was a year for me where I was experimenting a lot more with my summer style. I generally didn't have a lot of things in my wardrobe for summer that I enjoyed. So I was adding quite a lot of things. There was some trial and error, but regardless of the mistakes and even when I did didn't succeed everything was done with intention and because of that I get to take a lot of lessons with me into 2023 and of course I will be using these to plan for my wardrobe and my style in 2023 so my style resolution for 2023 is going to be buying less but better ultimately it is the pieces that i wear again and again and again that brings me joy so i am going to focus on adding pieces where uh, which wear that is a possibility that said it cannot be black and white this year what i've seen for summer and just in general is that sometimes it can feel necessary to cut corners and in those moments i won't be too hard on myself really good example for this is that i've been <laughs> looking really long for a pair of oat colored pants and I want something in good quality because I know it's something that I'll be able to wear for the longest time but I haven't found a good quality pair that I liked all year last year so right now I did buy a pair from H&M and obviously that's not a long-term solution but I was really tired of looking so for now that those will have to do until I run into something better. It really ties into this thing that I've often talked about how we tend to buy a not perfect item of something that we're looking for because we want it here and now but then later on once we run into the perfect version of that item that we're looking for we'll also buy that and that's not always a good thing but sometimes cutting corners like that is just what keeps us going so I'm gonna find a balance there but in general buying less but better it's always the goal it's always the ultimate goal but when that's not possible it just is what it is so to get a bit more specific i want to buy lasting things of the things that i know i will wear so many times that are actually possible and things that i can replace within my wardrobe slowly something for me that is such a strong proof of concept is black pointy leather boots of course the black vagabonds i have a couple of other boots that looks like them but they're all of mid-range quality and I wear my shoes to death and having a pair of shoes last one one and a half two seasons it's just not enough and I know I can do a lot better I can find much better made and quality shoes this year as part of buying less but better I'm also gonna try budgeting for it more and with that for example buying boots that are more than double the price than the ones I wear right now because again it's such a strong proof of concept I don't like to have to buy boots that often. So I am going to be on the lookout for the perfect pair of boots this year, but be really, really diligent in what I add. I am already eyeing a couple of different pairs. I will be putting them on the screen and then of course linking to them below. These are generally the types of boots that I will be looking for. Something that looks classic and feminine but sort of like with a modern or contemporary twist and something that isn't too bulky so that it still looks kind of elegant and sleek and feminine then uh, the, as another part of my style with solution i will be adding more dresses for summer i feel like last year i really nailed it with the individual pieces i added a couple of different types of denim bottoms and a range of linen shirts also a couple of different types of tubs i added a linen and blazer that I really enjoyed and I will be adding a bit more key pieces for summer like this but what I really noticed is that it is the dresses that make me come alive it's quite early but I really love to plan for my wardrobe so I'm already sort of looking at different styles that I would want to add and also taking into consideration the proof of concept that I do have for the last summer that we just went through and of course then adding something that will last but also trying to take into consideration that it does have to be a somewhat mid-range price just because so far for me at least I feel like the type of summer I usually have is something that is wild and wet loads of sunscreen sweat and going directly from work to the lake stuff like that so here I have to 
sort of take into consideration that I need something that is oftentimes durable but not always too expensive. Another thing I really nailed for summer, just gonna throw that in there, is camel accessories. So I'm definitely gonna continue with that. Camel shoes, camel bags, gonna see if I can find a nice beach bag as well for this summer. Another thing I really want to get this year is a luxury handbag. I'm not huge on bags. I really don't need a lot of them. I don't need a lot of choice. I have one camel bag, then I use that. I have one black bag, then I use that. But I don't have a black handbag and I really want one. I am really set on, you might already know, but the YSL hobo bag. And at the end of the day, like I've already mentioned, I think I might have to skip it because it is so delicate. The leather is quite easy to scratch, but even that I've started to play with the thought of, well, like even so, should I then not just wear it whenever I want to be careful and then maybe just have one piece that I can't throw around like that. I don't know, it's something that I'm thinking about a lot as I'm looking into what other black luxury handbags I might be interested in, but I am just so unbelievably picky when it comes to bags. There's not a lot of bags that grab my attention and because of that, I, when I, when I'm set on a bag, it's really hard to let it go, but I'm still looking for a black luxury handbag and of course right now looking for something that is more durable than what I'm looking at. So I have to find an unbelievably durable version of a black handbag that I enjoy or I will end up going with the black YSL regardless. I had a look at a couple of other bags that you guys recommended that looks a bit like the Hobo. There's the Celine Ava I believe it's called and then there's the Jackie from Gucci but I just don't really like either of them. They're not horrible bags. Obviously they're beautiful bags, but I did go have a try and just not enjoying them. Then more stylish solutions for 2023. I have been so careful overall with what I'm adding to my wardrobe, but even then I end up with things that I actually don't really wear that much, even when I try really hard and like that's just so, that's, yeah, it just is what it is. It's so wild. So something I'm really going to focus on a lot here in 2023 is wearing the pieces that I truly enjoy. Not trying to force myself to get wear out of the things I've gotten that I don't enjoy. Because that's sometimes, I feel like, a little bit of a trap that I at least can end up in. I'm like, well, I bought this. I bought it for all the right reasons. I made a very calculated decision and it's still not working out for me. Like, why is that? And then I'll force myself to wear something that I don't really enjoy. And that's just like, that's not the point of what I'm doing. So I should stop doing that. And this year I'm also going to be a little bit more discerning in trying to think in sets. I have last year thought a lot about in like singular pieces that I needed. Well, I really wanted a blue cashmere cardigan. I really wanted a black skirt and that's totally fine, but I actually really love sets or at least to be able to like think in sets. So I'm going to try to think more in outfits like that. And that doesn't necessarily mean so much like, can you make three outfits with this? It more means exactly what does this go with in your wardrobe? And would you wear it like that and be satisfied with that look and having that as a look you could wear, for example, once every other week. There is this beautiful saying and it comes from some type of like budgeting advice. So it has nothing to do with fashion in that sense, but it has everything to do with fashion and everything to do with what you're buying. And it's about being ruthless in cutting out things that doesn't matter to you. And that is what I'm going to continue on focusing on for 2023. This year I did buy some things that really didn't matter to me. I had a couple of purchases that ended up being completely pointless. There was a pair of slides from Sarah. There was also this like beach bag from Sarah, which my intentions were good, but I didn't eat them and I didn't end up in wearing them as intended. And at the end of the day, it's because these things just like don't matter to me. So I should probably just be a little bit more ruthless in adding them. But I will say that doing that is so much easier when you have things in your wardrobe that you actually enjoy because sometimes especially if we're just starting to really cultivate a better wardrobe there will be multiple categories 
that we need in our wardrobe in which we still don't have something that we truly like because we're not really in that realm of adding things like that yet. A good example is it is very easy for me being ruthless with not adding coats to my wardrobe. I am never tempted for real anyway in adding coats to my wardrobe that I see out and about because I have the Rolls Royce of coats at home in my wardrobe and now I have three. How lucky can a girl get? But it is so much more difficult for me to be ruthless when it comes to something like pants because I love a good pants, but I haven't managed to find something that is amazing, that is also good quality that I can wear again and again. Like I haven't found whatever feels perfect for me necessarily. And so, so much more difficult to be uh, ruthless in that category than in others. If you want to stay on my channel, watch this video and I will see you there.